Hi, welcome into the studio and my Lana Falcon drawing I'm going to be doing in pastels. So that was the reference photo and here I've got my pastel matte board. The image is already transferred. So with no further waiting, I'm going straight in. And as usual with lots of my subjects, I like to start with the eyes. And also because there's a real dark area in the eyes, that's going to have the added benefit of allowing me to judge the tones very easily quickly and easily in this drawing so I'm going to be able to judge the black of the central part of the eye and around it is a lot of um, very light areas so I'm going to have that full tonal range straight off. Now something I've learnt over the year of doing pastels if you've got something you want to be as dark as possible get that in rather quickly so get your black blacks in quickly and if you want something to be very vibrant like this yellow get that in fairly early and don't have many colors or if any at all underneath it i deliberately left most of the pastel matte paper bay on that section so that i could get that vibrant color in so if you're new to pans they're done in these little pans as the name suggests i've just got some plain printer paper there and a sponge it's called a soft tool so double f double t i believe it is and i'm just using different color pans and i'm mixing them on the paper just like paint now they're a bit transparent they're not completely opaque so i can still see little sections of my drawing through it just barely but you can see how quickly i can cover an area and also how soft I can make it look. Now I'm just going a bit lighter on top on this section above the eye. You can see it's just like drawing fur and making sure I'm going in the correct direction. When I want a lighter mark I'm pushing just slightly harder. Really zoomed in for you now so you can see how I do this area exactly because there's quite a lot of detail in this particular section and you see how I build up the layers and the softness because that's a critical part as well to keep this area quite soft and you see how I layer on top. Some of these little feather highlights they just more of a touch of the pencil rather than a line. They really are small little details and you can imagine this is why I've drawn this at this scale. If I was going much smaller it'd be really difficult to actually get these details this small and I'd be sharpening the pencil continuously. So as I make the final adjustments hope you've enjoyed this video I've enjoyed doing this one it's been quite a challenge not easy at all especially with all those different pinks in the chest feathers please with how the detail of the head has turned out and I'll see you all real soon for the next video.